Okay, that's good. So I'm on the right position, just slightly off the line of aim for the side I'm putting on. Yeah, nice cue and the feathers look good. Sides good. Yep. Bunny does pull this back nice and smooth. So you know I wonder how Dave Gilbert would play this shot. Hey guys, Dave here. Andy uh, from the Snoop Sheds asked me to just give you a little example of how I like to split the pack. So here we go, I've just put up uh, six or seven reds. Um, if the pack was positioned like this in a match, I'd always try and be low and I'd be trying to play it like with a stun screw. And I, I, I actually hit this with right hand side, whereas many other players probably would use left hand side because everybody pops the ball like that. I'd go the opposite way. Because when this bottom red's at the bottom of the pack, it tends to push it away here. So we're going to have a go. I'm going to play this with like a stunned right hand side, uh, but really trying to accelerate for the ball to get a bit of screw on it. And uh, hopefully, I'll get it in here, the white, and the, and the red will push out here. So I'm hoping to be on this red kind of thing, guaranteed. And there we go. When we're playing it with that, the wrong side almost, I always find that the ball stay in the middle of the table and always split. Whereas when I used to play it as a kid and as an amateur, and lots of amateurs would play it like that, they always play them left to right shots with the left hand side because they find it easier to pop the black for one. I always, I always thought the, the balls would never split quite friendly. This, this way they always split far better, I've learned. Uh, I don't know how many other people would play it like that. And we'll just go the other way. Um, if I ever got down to like the last few, I'm just using six reds at the moment. Like, I'll say if there's six or ten reds, and when they talk about a flat pack, when you've got a flat pack like this, you always want to be above the black. So, I always try and play three quarters high. That'd be my top tip. <laughs> so, we'll try this way. You can't, it's hard to guarantee being on the ball this way. Yeah, I've hit it all right, it's just whether the snooker dogs want to pop me on the ball. Um, well my biggest tip for break building and trying to split the pack, if you can always try and play three quarter high on the black, you can get anywhere on the table and you'll never get in a mess. So that would be my best tip. Cheers, thank you. People, we're back at the snooker shed door. And if you'd like your name up here on the snooker shed door, leave me a comment down below tell me where you are in the world and we'll work out how far away you are just like this guy the snooker cabin down in nottinghamshire at 224 miles away which is just down the road guys ladies please if you like what's happening here at the snooker shed pause the video go hit that subscribe button and hit that like button it makes all the difference here at the snooker shed and it just takes a microsecond for you to do so. Thank you very much, we'll see you soon. There you go. Cheers, Dave. So, a massive thanks to Big Dave Gilbert for helping us out here at the Snooker Shed and also kicking off the new series, Learning From The Pros. Where else can you get the best information from the boys that are doing it day in? and day out. Cheers Dave and all the best for this season. Hi guys, I'm Dave Gilbert and I'll see you on the table.